We have two closed loop cooling units in the house, the Nepton 280L and the Nepton 240M. Uh, these are both new-ish units from, uh, from Cooler Master, and they are designed by Cooler Master. And let me just tell you right now what to expect. Some pretty damn good performance. They've done a lot of interesting things with the two of these, and I'm going to try to get through this video without tripping over all of the specifications because I've got two units to look at here, and there are a lot of uh, specifications that are shared. But, um, and both of these have a higher pump flow rate than what you're going to get with most other systems out there. Uh, the 280L especially has some thicker pipes, but we, you know, got decently thick pipes on the 240M as well. 280L has, you know, uh, double the coolant is what they advertise compared to the others out there, and then 35% uh, larger radiator dimensions compared to the 240. So they decided to redesign the water block, and uh, the idea was that they wanted to move more water through it. So what they did was they created a micro channel right down the middle, and uh, that's going to help the water get through there quickly. And the more water you move through there the better off you're going to be because the idea is to have the water in there. If the water sits there too long, it's going to start to get warm and that's not going to be good for cooling your CPU. So the quicker you move that water, the quicker you can get out to the fins where it can dissipate the heat and then come back around the loop. But since you have twice as much water, it's going to be nice and cool most of the time. Now, as far as the fans go, we've got two Jetflow 140 fans. Now, those have got seven blades, 800 to 2000 RPM. They move about 122.5 cubic feet for, per minute. Uh, and they also have some rubber pads on the ends. Those are actually pretty decent. They've got a, a different shape to the blades. When you look at them, you're like, oh, that's an interesting shape to the blades. They're designed to move a lot of air, um, but they're also designed to keep the noise levels low. We'll see how those are in just a second when we do the tests. Now, with the uh, 240M, we've got some slightly different fans. The new, all the new um, Silencio, uh, the, the F, Silencio FP120. Uh, and those are really quiet. I expected the smaller guy to be a little louder but in our tests, as you'll see, it's not quite as loud. So really, really nice there. Let's cover the dimensions of these units. First with the little guy, uh, the 240M. I say the little guy, but this is still a decent unit. The 280 is just freaking huge. The pump dimensions on the 240M, 75 by 69.8 by 49.1 millimeters. Radiator dimensions, 120 by 240 uh, by 27 millimeters. So make sure you've got something that's 27 uh, millimeters thick. Plus the fans, the fan dimension is 120 by 120, of course and then by an additional 25. Uh, so, you know, we're talking 52, give or take one or two, depending on your setup. <clears throat> so make sure you have that. It may bump into your V-Regs in some case configurations. Just make sure you got it, man. Uh, dimensions on the uh, 280L for the pump, it's the same thing. Uh, 75 by 69.8 by 49.1. That's what something they both share. Uh, the radiator dimensions on this one, a little bit bigger. 311 by 139 by 30 uh, millimeters. And then the fans on this, it's 140 by 140, of course. And those are also 25 uh, millimeters thick. Uh, this one also is interesting. It supports two uh, 120 millimeter fans. So if you have a case that only has mounting spots for 120 millimeter fans, you may still be able to use this as long as you know you have 140 millimeters of space as far as mounting, well, I guess of 139 millimeters of space to mount the actual radiator. Take a look at that. Could be pretty cool. You can get a couple of those uh, Silencio fans and just have a lot of fun. Now, the water block on this also has an LED. It's pretty, it's cool. All right, let's get down to business and run some tests. Now we tested this with our EVGA X99. It's the X99 classified, the big guy. We also have the Intel, um, the i7-5960X. We're gonna run this at stock, then we're gonna freaking overclock it. And uh, we're also going to give you guys some sound levels as well. So first off, with the 280L, that one was running at around uh, 43 max at stock. With everything, you know, completely maxed out, we're running 8064. And we just had everything going at 100% for about 15 minutes. But yeah, the max was 53, the average was 41. Um, looking over at the 240L, story on that's not too bad either. It was ma it maxed out at 49, and uh, the average was 47.5. So that's stock. All right, let's overclock it. Take another look at the big guy, the 280L. Uh, that one maxed out at 67 with an overclock, and I didn't even tell you guys what the overclock was. We overclocked it to 4.3 gigahertz, so at that overclock, the 280L hit 67 degrees, average was 63. And then the uh, 240M with the overclock, it maxed out at 74 degrees, and the average was 71.8. So it did get a little bit warmer, but both of those are well under the T-junction max. Either one of those are going to be just fine. Let's talk about noise, man. Because I don't like it when things make too much noise. I got a computer over there you guys can probably hear it rumbling in the background. All right, the 280L. Uh, at stock, it was 42 and then under full load, 46 decibels. It's pretty quiet. The 240M really surprised me. At idle, 
you couldn't hear it. I mean, it's 34 decibels. It's like completely whisper quiet. You can feel the air moving through it. If you put your hand on the other side, you're like, hey, that's moving some air at, you know, a 100% 42. That's like, that's getting down in Nachua territory. That's really, really nice. So here we have two very interesting water cooling units. I like that Cooler Master has taken it upon themselves to design the pump and the water block. Uh, I like that this is their idea. Um, you know, it's, they're both really good. The 280, uh, the 280L, I mean, that's up there. I think, I think our results, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure our results are better than the, the Kraken X60. I'm like 98% sure I'd have to go back and double check, but we can put that information on the website. So this could be, as far as I'm concerned, the closed loop 280 uh, King for now, until I test some other things. From what, everything I tested though, it's it's the best 280 I've seen. However, the 240 is a little, you know, a little bit better as far as um, noise goes. So it's up to you. And we're gonna put these all head to head with a few other units out there on the market uh, in a video coming up in about oh, two or three days. Really, two or three days, guys. So check out that video, subscribe, or I will, uh, come and uh, I'll t remove everything from your fridge. Do you want the noise? I mean, do you want, do you want the noise? Of course, you can go out and buy a, a freaking diesel, uh, you know, diesel powered pump. Plenty of noise, you know, your, your, your computer's gonna sound awesome and all your neighbors are gonna be like, I wish you would shut up. He's gaming again with that stupid diesel computer. It's got a pull start when you grow up. You wish you'd subscribed.